everybody, it's Cameron here from Saving Throw Studios, and today I want to make a cool piece of uh, video content for upcoming card game on Kickstarter right now called Redline Tactical Card Combat. It's an expandable card game, and it's a mix of uh, war gaming and card games together in, in one. And one cool part about Redline is you can create your own uh, custom builds for our, the Afrites, which is what we call the mechs in our game. So uh, I thought I would make a, a video here showing uh, one of the possible builds you could do for the Tiger Cat. Uh, please excuse the uh, the proxy card here. Of course, the game's still in development and waiting to be produced. And I know this is not a very sci-fi play mat here, but um, bear with me. Let's look at the Tiger Cat right now. So it's a medium Afrit for the United Nations of Earth, the UNE faction in the game, the Earth-based forces. Costs four resources to play. Uh, its stat line it has four damage, five armor, and six speed. So it's kind of fast for a medium of free. It's got a decent amount of armor, and uh, when it comes to damage, nothing amazing, but nothing bad either. It's a medium of free. It's a you know jack of all trades, master of none. If we look at the bottom here, these are the upgrades the Tiger Cat can accept. It can accept one missile upgrade, one cannon upgrade. This purple uh, microchip thing here is for systems, and orange would be for pilots. So these are the type of upgrades you can put on a Tiger Cat. All of Freets have different upgrade slots that shows what they can accept. And these are the special abilities the Tiger Cat has, unique to itself. It's got the precision keyword ability. It lets a tire cat re-roll one dice roll during an engagement. Very, very useful uh, for landing hits, avoiding cre It's very, being able to change the outcome of a die roll is very, very useful and can be used in different ways. And uh, second ability here, Cannons cost one less to equip on the Tiger Cat. So you get a discount when equipping cannons on here, which we're going to build around because cannons, there's some pretty nasty cannons in the game. So, like I said, Tiger Cat is, is, is very um, uh, effective. It's not really great in one area, but it's a workhorse, right? And so we're going to take this and make it extra lethal with this upcoming build I have for the game. So uh, we're going to build specifically around the two abilities, the precision and the cannon upgrade to really make this thing super dangerous on the battlefield, right? So to start off here, of course, we're gonna take advantage of the uh, cannon ability or the cannon discount and put a sweet cannon on here. So here is a NAU-3 Avenger. This is a uh, cannon upgrade. Uh, the uh, uh, equipped to freak gets one extra damage so now this will deal five damage in combat instead of four, which is really nice. It's got a plus two right here. So this actually will increase um, the Tiger Cat's capture uh, abilities. A Tiger Cat usually uh, rolls 1d6 to capture, but now with this, it'll get 1d6 plus two. So we're not worried about that right now, uh, but just basically it, it does more than, than add damage. But what is really special about the Avenger is it makes it easier to score critical hits. So in red line for combat, you roll 1d10 against your target, and the goal is to roll the speed or above. So faster freets are harder to hit, but if we were targeting the tire cat right now, we'd have to roll a six, seven, eight, nine, or 10 to hit it. Anything less would be considered a miss, right? If you roll the speed exactly, if we roll a six, then you score a critical hit, which does all sorts of nasty things. Uh, headshots, you can uh, lower their speed, you can blow up equipment, you can do extra damage. Uh, critical hits are really, really nasty, and that's what the Avenger is good at doing. So with an Avenger equipped, you score a crit on rolling the speed, but also a nine or 10. So you can roll high, or you can roll the speed exactly to land a critical hit and do really all sorts of nasty damage. And what's awesome is with the precision ability, say you roll and hit, but you don't get the nine or the 10 or you don't roll the speed, you can always use that ability to re-roll the dice and try and land that critical hit a second time. So you get two chances, you can only do it once, but that's pretty powerful, especially when you go crit hunting to be able to re-roll a die and not only does this raise your chances, 
but you get a redo with the precision ability. You can only do it once. You gotta be careful when you pull that trigger. Uh, and this uh, cannon is gonna come at a discount. It's gonna come at two instead of three. That is a good bargain. That is OP, that's pretty powerful for two uh, equipment cost with the Tire Cat special ability. So we're gonna put a cannon on the Tire Cat, which already makes it incredibly dangerous. Uh, but now we're gonna give it a pilot. So here is uh, Hibiscus. She's another UNE pilot. And so she's got her own special ability. She gives the Afrit, she pilots ambush. So what this does is it lets the Afrit do one damage at the beginning of combat. So when the Tire Cat, when she pilots it, before you roll any dice, you can already uh, do one damage against an enemy, open them up, soften them up a little bit. If they come in damaged, you can maybe snipe them with that one damage and put them away right away. So ambush is a pretty nice ability to land some guaranteed damage right away. Uh, and also hibiscus, uh, like most pilots, she's got a favorite type of a freet she likes to pilot. So she prefers medium of which the tire cat just happens to be. So when she's driving a tire cat, she'll gain one recon every time this thing attacks. Uh, recon can be used for activating abilities in the game. It's like a secondary resource. Not really important right now for what we're trying to do with the cannon, uh, but this is just gravy. This is cherry on the top. And she's gonna increase the capture ability. So hibiscus by herself in a tire cat makes it a little bit more dangerous, right? But when you put her in one with a uh, Avenger cannon, you're gonna do one damage right away at the beginning of combat, and you're gonna be able to use that reroll ability to go crit hunting and really uh, put the hurt on an enemy who gets in your way. And again, uh, the extra recon is just a bonus here right now with this build. Got one more uh, upgrade we're gonna put on this one right now, and that's just a, a, a copy of Zeke rockets. So these are a, a really cheap upgrade you can put in the missile slot. Right now, again, we're focused on getting the cannon here and maybe hibiscus. But if you got any leftover resources in a turn, Zeke rockets is not a bad deal. Uh, before an attack, you can flip it over to fire those rockets in combat. So you can only do it once. But what it's gonna do, it's gonna give you an extra two damage while making your attack a little more inaccurate. These are like unguided rockets, right? But again, uh, if you got an enemy who's hurt, you can again uh, flip this over to try and do an attack. And again, if you miss, because it makes it a little bit more difficult, right? You're gonna subtract one from your roll with the precision ability, you get to redo. So say you miss with the Zeke rockets, you can use that ability again with the Tiger Cat to try and get a second chance and get that extra damage to land by using precision, right? I told you it was powerful. You can only use precision once, so you can choose, right? You use it to make the rockets hit or you use that precision ability to try and uh, redo your cannon and get it hit in that way. So when we got all the upgrades on here, you got a very dangerous Afrit. It's gonna do one damage right away beginning of combat because of hibiscus and that precision ability, try and get these focused here on my camera, uh, is really gonna be dangerous because you got two different ways now you can take advantage, scoring crits with the Avenger or trying to get a redo on maybe a rocket barrage that missed your opponent, right? And with that discount, this only costs four, five, six, seven, eight, nine resources to build. That's not too pricey and that's a pretty good deal. So that's just one of the possible builds you can put in your deck for Redline. There's of course all sorts of different combinations, uh, but again, uh, the Tire Cat really take advantage of precision here, and uh, this is a nasty thing. You don't wanna fight in the middle of an engagement. All right, thanks for watching. Definitely check out the link for the Kickstarter, and uh, I'll try and see if I can't throw a couple more of these videos up here and show you some other different builds you can make with the cards in the, uh, the game in the core set right now. Thanks for watching, I appreciate it. And um, this is Cameron from Redline, Saving Throw Studios, and I'll catch you later.